Hello students, welcome to my channel Mathematics Friend. Here we learn mathematics with clear concepts. Today we are going to discuss Cauchy's condensation test. Baron Louis Augustine Cauchy was a French mathematician, well known French mathematician. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and also share it. Let's do. Cauchy's condensation test Cauchy's condensation test statement is if phi n greater than 0 for all positive integers phi n is greater than 0 for all positive integers n and the sequence sequence noted right this sequence phi n is monotone monotone decreasing sequence phi n is monotone decreasing then the two series summation n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n and summation n is equal to 1 to infinity h to the power n phi h to the power n h being h being a positive integer integer greater than 1 okay h being a positive integer this h being a positive integer which is greater than 1 are either either both that is some n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n n is equal to 1 to infinity summation h to the power n phi h to the power n these two series either both convergent or both divergent okay this is the statement of Cauchy's condensation test look this sequence phi n is 
monotone decreasing and both these two series are either convergent or both divergent these two series n is equal to 1 summation n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n and n is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity h to the power n phi h to the power n these two series are both convergent or both divergent this is the statement now the question is what is monotone decreasing very important to know what is monotone decreasing look the sequence sequence phi n is monotone decreasing monotone decreasing that is for for every n phi n plus 1 for every n phi n plus 1 less than or equal to phi n this sequence phi n is monotone decreasing that is ev for every n every value of n phi n plus 1 less than or equal to phi n this is called monotone decreasing sequence okay now our next question is when will be a series convergent now summation n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n is said to be convergent convergent if limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity sn okay sn exists and is equal to a finite real number S. Okay. We then we then say that the series we then say that the series summation phi n has a sum has a sum s and we write s is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n okay Sn exists and a finite real number S. We say we then say that the series summation phi n has a sum S and we write it as S is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity phi n. This is convergent. 
and if limit n tends to infinity sn is equal to limit value of sn is equal to plus infinity or minus infinity then the series series summation phi n is set to diverge diverge properly properly to plus infinity or minus infinity this is the concept of convergent and divergent in short okay now proof we group the terms we have to group the terms of series summation phi n as phi 1 plus summation phi 2 plus phi 3 plus dot dot up phi h plus phi h plus 1 plus phi h plus 2 plus dot dot plus phi h square okay plus continue plus phi phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 plus phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 2 plus dot dot plus phi h to the power n okay phi h to the power n plus continue this is we group the terms summation phi n as phi 1 first group phi 1 plus second phi 2 plus phi 3 up to phi h plus phi h plus 1 phi h plus 2 up to phi j h square Uh, continue this and uh, plus phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 h to the power n minus 1 plus 2 plus up to phi h to the power n okay now we leave we leave out we leave out the first group we leave out the first group that is phi 1 
and call v1 and call v1 is equal to phi 2 plus phi 3 plus dot dot plus phi h. This group is called V1. Next group phi h plus 1 plus phi h plus 2 h plus 1 h plus 2 plus dot dot phi h square called v2 and continue Vn phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 plus phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 2 plus dot dot plus phi h to the power n. This group is called Vn and so on dot dot. Positive series summation Vn each term of Vn is less than or equal to phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 and greater than or equal to phi h to the power n. Vn is less than or equal to phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 and greater than or equal to phi h to the power n. Because phi n is monotone decreasing. Okay. Phi n is monotone decreasing phi n is monotone decreasing so vn is less than or equal to phi h to the power n minus 1 plus 1 and greater than or equal to phi h to the power n. See that there are in all h to the power n minus h to the power n minus 1 terms in Vn h to the power n minus h to the power n minus 1 terms in Vn. Okay. Therefore, h to the power n minus h to the power n minus 1 phi 
h to the power n less than or equal to v n h to the power n minus h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n less than or equal to v n as follows h to the power n minus h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 is greater than or equal to vn or taking h minus 1 as common h minus 1 into h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n less than or equal to v n and v n less than or equal to h minus 1 into h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 or 1 by h as h to the power n minus 1 h to the power minus 1 is 1 by h into h minus 1 into h minus 1 h to the power n phi h to the power n less than or equal to v n and v n less than or equal to h minus 1 h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 okay we now see that we now see that for all n greater than or equal to 1 n is greater than or equal to 1 every every vn greater than or equal to h minus 1 by h h to the power n h to the power n phi h to the power n h to the power n or h to the power n phi h to the power n less than or equal to h by h minus 1 v n okay taking this as 1 this as 2 and this as 3 in our statement h is a positive integer greater than 1 so h by h minus 1 or h minus 1 by h is positive okay therefore by comparison test by comparison test 
I will discuss it briefly in another video from 3 it follows that if summation Vn converge summation Vn converts then summation h to the power n phi h to the power n also converts okay and from 2 it follows that that if summation h to the power n phi h to the power n diverts then summation v n also diverts diverts okay numbering this four so by comparison test from three it follows that vn summation vn converts then summation h to the power n phi h to the power n also converts and summation h to the power n phi h to the power n diverts then summation vn also diverts again again from 1 again from 1 vn less than or equal to h minus 1 h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 for all n greater than or equal to 2 look for all n here greater than or equal to 2 or h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 greater than or equal to 1 by h minus 1 this h minus 1 1 by h minus 1 vn since since h is greater than 1 therefore h minus 1 is a positive is a positive h minus 1 is a positive quantity okay h minus 1 is a positive quantity therefore again by comparison test if summation n is equal to 2 to infinity h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 is 
convergent then summation vn converge converts and if summation vn diverts then summation n is equal to 2 to infinity h to the power n minus 1 phi h to the power n minus 1 also diverts take it as 5 now combine 4 and 5 okay combine combining 4 and 5 we get we get summation vn summation vn and summation h to the power n phi h to the power n converts converts or diverts together okay combining 4 and 5 we get summation vn and summation h to the power n phi h to the power n converts or diverts together but for for a positive series positive series summation here vn summation vn is positive series vn and summation phi n converge converge or diverge together okay hence finally summation phi n and summation h to the power n phi h to the power n converge or diverge together okay proved couch's condensation test proved